Hi there, my name is Vince from My Mate Vince and today I'm going to show you a few light fittings in the UK and how to change the bulbs. Now a lot of people get confused about the different type of bulbs out there because there's such a variety. So hopefully this video may help you out, especially when we come on to spotlights because with the spotlights there's various ways to to, to remove the, the, the lamps and it can be a bit a bit confusing. So on this particular one here, this is a really straightforward light fitting. This uses the little G9 lamp. This is a 240 volt lamp and uh, it's really easy to change. So if you're unsure about the, the wattage, you can just pull down the lamp and you can have a look on what was on the, what, what, what it was using beforehand, because normally it will say on it, for example, 240 volts, 40 watts, or you know, uh, 25 watts. So you can just then replace it. Or if you're, if you're worried, because the previous people might, put, might have put the wrong lamp in there, if you're worried, you can always just have a little look at the actual light fitting because often you'll find it will be marked somewhere. So if you have a look there, hopefully you will be able to see that it says like 240 volts, 40 watt and 40 watt max and it's a G9, G9 fitting. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how easy it is to actually change. Let's just zoom in. Okay, so with this particular fit in here, with the G9, really straightforward. You just hold on to it. Now, either use some gloves or use a little bit of cloth because you're not supposed to get your, you're not supposed to touch this with your fingers because the sweat from your fingers can uh, affect the, how long the lamp lasts. So just gently hold it. Obviously, make sure that the lights are off. If you're unsure if the lights are off or on, if they're all blown, then turn it off at the fuse board. Don't take any chances and make sure your hands are dry if you are doing it with hands or make sure your gloves are dry. You know, you're mucking about with electricity here, so don't do anything stupid. So uh, just nice and gently pull it down and that's it. Now if you have a look closely, 240 volts, 33 watts eco and it will say, uh, I think it says G9 under there. So uh, this is 33 watts. But it's, it's an eco bulb, so it's equivalent to 40 watts. And then to put it back in, just the same thing applies again. Let me just zoom in. Just nice and gently, it doesn't matter which way round it goes, it can go either way round. You just line up the, the prongs in the groove and just push it in until it clicks into place. Okay? And it will go in both ways. So if I turn it round, it will go in both ways. Now, sometimes it can be a bit hard to get in. So now, can, there you go, it went in, but you see it was struggling that way. So if when you're pushing it in, you're struggling to get it in, just turn it round, because sometimes these, these little prongs here can go a little bit out of alignment. These little prongs can sometimes go a little bit out, misaligned, yeah? Not always perfect. So if you're struggling to put it in, just twist it around the twist, turn it around the other way, then you should find it will go in. Okay, so it's gone in there. And then afterwards, just test it. Yeah. So that's the G9 light fitting. I'm just gonna go through a few other light fittings in the house now. Again, another light fitting. It's another G9 fitting. It's quite a popular. Quite a popular little lamp, this one, the G9 halogen. Again, this one is uh, 240 volts and 40 watts. So that just pulls in and out, just like the last one. Again, this light fitting here is another G9 light fitting. The only difference is, if we have a look here, we can see that this one, the maximum on this one is 25 watts. So while the other light fittings were 40 watts, this one's a maximum of 25 watts. So you, when you get these ones here, make sure you get a G9 25 watts. So always double check, hopefully when you pull the light out, the lamp out, it will say 25 watts on it. But uh, always have a look around the light fitting and see, it should be marked somewhere where the, the maximum wattage is. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. This is a GU10 down light. This particular one is an LED, but the same thing, the same thing applies. I, from memory, I think this is a 3-watt LED, but uh, 
the same fitting, you use the same fitting even if you want to use a, a 50 watt 240 volt GU10. This is a 240 volt but it's only 3 watts so it's huge energy saving. It doesn't give off quite as much light obviously as a 50, uh, a 50 watt but it's still very good because you can have all the lights on in the kitchen for the same price as just having one halogen on. So uh, yeah, they, they, they are good. Now this particular fitting here, I like these because they've got the little clip where you squeeze together and then they drop out. A lot of the manufacturers seem to be going away from this version now and they, uh, in the rest of the house I've got ones where you have to use a little sucker to pull them down but I like these clip ones because they're just so easy to use. So to undo these, all you've got to do, if I just zoom in now, these little prongs here, you just squeeze them together like that, yeah? And can you see then, the clip comes out, so this is the, this is the clip. Like that. So you just squeeze it together here, and you can use long nose pliers, or I just use my fingers. Obviously, make sure if it's just blown, I mean, the LEDs don't give off that much heat, but if you're using halogens, don't go anywhere near it for a good 20 minutes or so until it's cooled down if it's just blown, because they get very, very hot. And again, always turn off at the light switch. If you're unsure if the lights are on and off, if you've only got a couple of halogens and they're both blown, turn off at the main fuse board. Don't take any risks. So uh, yeah, with this one, you undo the clip like so, and then you see it, you've got a nice bit of slap there, it drops down, and then you just grab the, the base, let me zoom in. Right, grab the base, and then twist this anti-clockwise. Yeah, so you twist to the left. So twist it to the left to undo. And you only need to twist it, not very much at all, a couple of centimetres or so. So uh, from here to here, yeah, it's not much. Twist it a couple of centimetres and that will drop out nicely. Again, you read what it, uh, what it is. So what the markings are on here and then you can read what it is. You can get your replacement. And then to put it back, you see that there's two, two holes there, two round holes. You put the, the prongs in the round holes and twist it clockwise, yeah? And then you put it back up. Now to put the clip in, on this particular one, there is a uh, little indentations in the fitting where the clip, there's two little bits on the clip, here and here, look like ears, yeah? And they need to go in. So if you're unsure, just get your long nose pliers or I just squeeze it with my fingers, push it up, and then what you can do is spin it round if you hear it clip into place. There you go, did you? Right, this is the light fitting in the hallway. Now this is a different light fitting here. This is a low voltage one. So this has a transformer built into the top. That's why you can see it's kind of big where it attaches to the ceiling. And uh, it transforms it from 240 volts down to 12 volts. So this particular, these lamps are different. These are a G4 halogen lamp and uh, with this particular light fitting it's quite recessed so if I was to zoom in you can see that they're actually quite uh, quite recessed into it so I can't just use my finger to get them out but it did come with a special little tool to remove them now if you've lost a tool you will still be able to get the lights out you can just improvise or you can actually uh, you can unscrew these uh, these like uh, glass balls here, you can actually unscrew them, but it's just more work. But with the tool, it's kind of handy. So what you do is you just put the tool around the lamp, squeeze gently, not too hard, and pull them out. And as you can see here, if I zoom out, you can see that these ones have two little prongs at the bottom. So these are the different than the G9s. They're smaller in size, and also there's just two little prongs at the bottom. And again, they're, uh, you know, they're labelled up. You won't be able to see on the camera, it'd be too. I don't think it will focus in well. No, but that's them there anyway. And this is the tool that came with the kit. Came with the fitting. Can you see it just fits around there like so? Yeah? But you could make your own. Yeah? And to put them back in again, you just, uh, again, it doesn't matter which way round they go. Let's zoom in. You just have a look, see where the holes are, 
and then nice and gently, because you don't want to bend the prongs, you just push it into place. Yeah, and that's fully home. You can always double check with your hand just to make sure it's uh, fully home. And then check afterwards. There we go. So that's the G, that's the G4. They're low voltage, they're only 12, they're only 12 volts, those ones. Right, this is uh, another GU10 downlight, similar to the one in the kitchen. Again, this is LED, but the fitting itself is different. This uses a twist fitting, it doesn't use the little clip. So if I zoom in, I'll show you it. So 240 volt GU10, and with this one, you've got these little bits on it here. Again, I like this system here. There's three little bits, and you just twist them, yeah? And when you twist them, it will drop down. Okay, and what you can then do is you can just see there's a little clip here where the halogen clips into, yeah? Or the LED, whatever G GU10 you're using. So uh, again, just like the kitchen one, you hold the base unit and twist it anti-clockwise and it will drop out and then to put it back in again you just put it into the round circles, just like I mentioned before, twist it clockwise, and that's it, it's back in again. Now, with this you just need to slide it, you need to slide the halogen, let me zoom out a little bit, you need to just slide the halogen back onto these clips, and that will pop into place there. So what I'll do is I'll take that down and I'll just show you on the camera. So, with these ones here, you just lift the halogen up and just push it out of the push it out of the fitting, yeah, because they're just held in with this little clip there. And that just slots in like so, nice and easy. It's a nice design again on these ones. Yeah. Okay. In. And then you need to line up the little prongs, there's little prongs. There's little prongs here that you need to line up, okay? So you line them up. But you'll, you'll know if you're in the right place because it won't go up. But then twist it around until it goes up. And then you just need to twist it about a quarter of a, not even a quarter of a turn. Maybe one sixth of a turn. Clockwise, yeah? So clockwise, and that's locked into place, and anti-clockwise to drop down. Yeah, anti-clockwise, and then clockwise. Yeah, just make sure that's in nice. There. Clockwise, and then test it. Okay. That's a simple one. That's a very common design as well, that one. Okay, so now we're in the ensuite. This is another GU10. Uh, it's the same as the one we've just, uh, same as the, the the one we've just done, but this has a different fitting. Again, this is a 240 volt, and it's uh, it's an LED. Same thing applies if you want to use a 50 watt halogen. The difference time difference this time is you have to use one of these sucky things because it hasn't got a spring and it hasn't got one of the twistable things. So it's uh, it's one that you have to suck suck this to and then either twist or pull down. So this one here is a 240 volt, so it will be a, a twist one. If it was an MR16, which I'll show you next, it will be just a pull down one. The confusing thing is, as far as I know, you, you can't tell just by looking at it whether it's a, a 12 volt MR16 or whether it's a, a 240 volt GU10. So you're not going to know whether to twist or pull down. So perhaps try just pulling down a little bit, and if it's not coming, then go for the twist, and then you'll know, because if it's a GU10, it needs to be twisted off. If it's an MR16 low voltage, it needs to be pulled down. So uh, yeah, with this one here, you just put the sucker up and you twist and it should just drop down. Yeah, so that's how, that's how it works. But as you can see, they're not very sucky at all. Now, if you haven't got one of these little suckers, you can get them off eBay for a couple of quid. Or if you're lucky, sometimes you can just use your fingers. 
So uh, let's use the let's use the sucky thing to begin with, and then I'll show you with the fingers afterwards. So again, to put it back, you line up the holes. See, it's not even sucking very well at all. Might be a bit dusty. No, I mean it's going to suck better if the whole area is glass, but on this particular one here, it's not glass. It's only, this, only the middle bit's glass, so that's probably why it's not sucking very well. You need to line up the holes, which can be fiddly. Okay, and then you need to twist. Yeah, you need to twist it clockwise into place. Again, about a sixth of a turn, or you know, just a little bit less than a quarter of a turn to lock it into place. You can feel it when it's locked into place. But if you haven't got one of these sucky things, then you can just use your fingers or your thumbs. So get your fingers and go anti-clockwise, yeah, and that will drop down. And then to put them back up, put it up and just go clockwise, yeah. So that's it. Uh, that's that one. Now I'm going to go into the bathroom and show you the uh, the low voltage version. Right, okay, now we're in the bathroom. These are MR16 halogen spotlights. So these are the low voltage ones. These are 12 volts. Uh, I'm not sure about the wattage. They're probably, they might be 50 watts. We'll, we'll, we'll soon find out when we put them down. And uh, these ones have transformers up in the attic to make them from 240 volts down to 12 volts. Now, these ones here are a different design again. They use, the, uh, they use the sucky thing, but with these ones you don't twist, you just pull straight down because the, the, the prongs are different. So what you need to do is, you need to, obviously, if it's just blown again, wait until it's cooled down, give it a good 20 minutes and check. These get very, very hot. Turn them off at the light switches. Again, like I've said already, if, if there's two in your room and they've both blown and you don't know if the light switch is on or off, then go to your fuse board and turn off at the fuse board to make sure uh, that you don't get a shock. Now, sucky thing, you push on here. Now with this one, you haven't got a choice. There's no way of getting these down because you can't twist these like in the other ones because these are the low voltage ones. So you have to use the sucker on these. So you put them on and basically you just, see, it's very hard. I don't like this design at all, but you put them on and then try to just gently ease it down. There we go. And it's popped out. And that is what a MR16 looks like. It's got the two prongs, similar size to the halogen GU10 in, in width and diameter, but a lot, there's a lot less height to it. Yeah, but you can see the two prongs there. And uh, yeah, to, to put it back again, you just need to line it up and get it in the holes, but it can be fiddly, especially when the sucker things don't work right. There we go, and just push up, yeah? Now, to release these things, because obviously when you put it down, there's a chance of pulling the light out again, the lamp, so just there's a little knobbly bit here, just lift that up there, and that just relieves the surface tension on here, and it allows you to push it back up. So now when we turn the light on, yeah, it's all working. Now the last one I'm gonna show you is in this bathroom as well, but it's just the, the shower fitting ones. So. P65 rated uh, shower down light. Again, it's an MR16, so it's low voltage, uh, 12, 12 watts. Now, uh, these ones, they're, they're harder again because you can't actually get to the light. So what you have to do is you have to ease down, on this particular one, you have to ease down the front. It's kind of hard to ease down the front without taking the whole light fitting off. Let me see if I can do it. Here it comes, there you go. So it's very hard to, uh, to take down that front to get to the light because the whole light fitting wants to, the whole light fitting wants to come down. And what you can often do is you can often end up damaging the paint around the light fitting, so be very careful. Sometimes if you see that, if it's maybe been painted since these have been put up, you might have to get a Stanley knife just to cut around to break the seal off the paint because as you put as you pull it down, you'll end up getting a, a big peel down here and it's not gonna it's not gonna look nice and it's gonna cause you more work. So once we've got that front bit off, then it's the same as before. You just need to use the sucker, like so, and then you just have to pull it, pull it down. There we go, ease it down, okay? And again, that's the same light that you've just seen here. 
These ones are uh, 12, 12 volts, 50 watts, and these are cool fit ones. That means that they actually throw most of the heat downwards. Yeah? So, uh, again, to, to release it, you just press this little knobbly bit here, and it comes undone. Now, on this light, this light has actually gone, so I am going to replace this one. So I've got my MR16 here. Put my sucker onto the end of it. Make sure that the wattage is the, the, wattage is the same. Obviously, make sure it is an MR16 with the two prongs. Line up the two prongs into the two little holes. It's hard to see. If I zoom in, you might be able to see the two little holes up there. Can you see there's two little holes here? Those two little holes. So much room here. Yeah, that's where the two prongs go into. So you have to line up those two, those two prongs into the holes. Again, it's fiddly. Okay, so that's in. Release the surface tension by putting that little bit there, so we know now that it's fully up. Again, really you should be wearing gloves doing this because your hands can damage the halogen. And with this particular light fitting, we have two little knobbly bits. There's like a knobbly bit here and a knobbly metal bit sticking out here. They've got to line up with these bits, with these bits here, yeah? So if you try to put it in there so they don't line up, it won't go in. So you have to move it round on the knobbly bits and then you just push it push it home there you go and that's it yeah nice and secure to the ceiling so i hope you found the video useful there's a there's a lot of different variety of lights in this house so hopefully the one you're changing will be one of these and uh yeah hopefully it has has been a bit of use thanks a lot for watching take care bye now